here I am going to explain how to operate on a pediatric cataract with a pre existing posterior capsular defect. This is the eye of a 2 year old child. You can see clearly the margins of a pre existing posterior capsular rent with lenticular changes. I am making a scleral tunnel here. The wound is cauterized. The incision is made around 1 to 1.5 millimeters posterior to the limbus. Using a crescent blade, a tunnel is being fashioned carefully. The side port is made, and after injecting viscoelastics, I am using a 2.8 millimeter keratome to enter the anterior chamber. The anterior capsule neck is made with the help of a 26 gauge needle. And after filling the anterior chamber deeply with viscoelastics, I am using a microrexis forceps to grasp the tone edge of the anterior capsule to fashion the rexis. The correct size and centration of a rexis is of paramount importance in pediatric cataract. The rexis, as opposed to that in adults, is very elastic and continuously it has to be grasped and regrasped very frequently in order to direct the force correctly towards the center of the eye. You can see that I am always holding the tearing edge and then directing the force towards the center. So the rexis is now complete. I am doing a small hydro delineation in order to loosen the cap cortex that will enable easy aspiration. I do not want to spend too much time hydrating the cortical matter due to the presence of the pre-existing posterior capsular deficit. If you look at the IOP setting, so I have kept the setting at only 20 with a low flow, low vacuum and low IOP. I am aspirating the cortex. There is no need to use phaco energy while operating on a pediatric cataract. The cortex is very soft and can be entirely almost aspirated with the help of an irrigation aspiration cannula. Here, owing to the presence of the posterior capsular defect, I am mostly of, uh, aspirating the peripheral cortex and then keeping the center as a buffer almost till the end. You can see the margins of the posterior capsular defect. So very carefully, I am aspirating the last part of the cortical matter, taking care not to drop any fragments through the defect into the vitreous. You can see that this is the last cortical piece slowly being nudged with the help of the second instrument into the irrigation aspiration handpiece. And only the subincisional cortex is left and that's also safely aspirated. So the anterior capsular and the posterior capsular margins are now very clearly seen. I am extending the incision a little bit which will enable me to inject the three piece lens foldable acrylic into the uh, eye. So here the plan is to inject the three piece lens into the sulcus. I am not planning to inject this lens in the back owing to the presence of a huge posterior capsular defect which may cause decentration or dislocation of this lens. So my aim is to inject it fully into the sulcus initially and then do an optic capture of the optic under the anterior capsule. That would help to position the lens well and also that would prevent inflammation and help in centration. So you can see that now I am optic capturing the optic under the anterior capsular margin and now the lens is safe and secure with just the haptics in the sulcus. An anterior vitrectomy is being done now. In pediatric cataract always an anterior vitrectomy is essential in order to prevent the occurrence of a membrane otherwise the membrane formation would be around 100%. So after anterior vitrectomy and reforming the anterior chamber, now the entry wound is being closed with two or three interrupted 10-0 sutures. I am using 10-0 vitreal here, which is a delayed absorb, which is an absorbable suture, and it need not be removed. These sutures will be buried under the conjunctiva. So and that will be absorbed over a period of time. So the conjunctival wound is also being sutured with the help of the same vitreal. And cautery is not used and that's very easy for the child to open the eye the next day. Remember, a good tunnel and rexis of the correct size and centration are the key determinants to success in pediatric cataract and always remember to suture the tunnel in the end. Thank you.